whatever it is you're believing for if you're serious you have to position yourself for it by the way i'm at the lake i've come to do my evening walk and watch the the sunset and <clears throat> i was planning this video um a couple of weeks ago it had just never happened it just wasn't the right time and it fell in my spirit while i'm sweaty so i'm just giving it to you um so if you if you're serious about anything that you're believing for you have to really posture yourself for it and um we we ignore the we ignore the manual uh, of how to get to it there's several ways to get to things and me personally in my life i've gotten to things several ways in my multiple six-figure business i went for it the worldly way and i got it and it didn't come with peace and I walked away from it I'd much rather have something and have it with peace so here is I want to give you Psalm 37 verse 4 delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart really let that sink in delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart and I'm very serious there's no going there's no other way you know we probably hear another see another scripture to seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all will be added that's very true but let's look let's look at the first scripture where it says to delight what does delight mean to gain to gain great pleasure to gain satisfaction to gain happiness that's what it means to to gain delight to delight yourself so and then we look at the word desire means you long for or you ask for or you or you demand so let me say it again delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart you can put that together in the breakdown that I've just given you right let me just show you um, how this has worked for me personally in my life the difference when I delighted myself in the Lord in order to um, get the desires of my heart there's some things I was able I picked up the Bible I got close to God I built a relationship I got into a very intimate I got up close and personal I learned to fast I learned to pray like pray like I meant it there are several things that were blocking me in the past you know I would get lots of money and as soon as I get lots of money there would be something that needed that money money would slip through my heart through my fingers and I realized that there were things that were on me that I needed to break you, you see when you get in the word you learn how to break um, demonic cycles you learn to break evil spirits you learn to break strongholds you learn to cleanse your bloodline let me tell you about that one cleansing your bloodline if you look I'm, I know for me personally if you look there's some cycles in my family look closely at your, fi your family some some family they have the same temperament some family they have the same personality some family everybody in there that family is wealthy some family everybody in that family are christians some family everybody in that family get married and get divorced some family most of the women are single moms some family most of the guys they can't find a partner to settle down with you me getting in the word and getting close to god i have learned so much so it's not just every day you know rainbows and unicorns there's there are days where where you know there, there are seasons actually where i've had to go through egypt the seasons where I've had to go through the wilderness and break certain things off me. It's not nice for me to say strongholds and evil spirits and demons and generational curses in my bloodline. But that's the truth. And until you learn to master, until you learn to delight yourself in the Lord, until you get to the truth and get into the word, sometimes we don't understand these things. You know, I've got a friend, a um, very close friend. I met them through business, wealthy. When I tell you they have it good, they have it good. But I noticed a certain pattern with them. I remember one time I was sat in a restaurant and they didn't see me. And I saw them passing and um, they passed. And then I ran out and I said, hi, what's going on? I said, why do you two, the two of you look like you've seen a ghost? And they were explaining a situation to me that they were going through. 
Another time I've seen them, the kids are really not doing well. Another time I've seen them, they're at loggerhead with a family member. Another time I've seen them and they're, you know, they're at court with a member of staff. They're at court with a family member. And there's always something, there was no peace, even though financially the business was thriving, they drove top of the line cars, they lived in a mansion, they have, um, you know, they have a top lifestyle, <laughs> like, it's how the other half lived, but there was no peace. And I decided in that moment that I did not want that because, you know, I've had a big thriving business where there was no peace. Everything that could have gone wrong was go going wrong. And I had to walk away from that. My marriage was being um, attacked. My relationship with my friends, my relationship with my family, everything was being attacked. And I realized it's how I gained um, wealth, how I gained the things that I had that wasn't right and the things that needed to be broken and released and removed rebuked right so if you want it and you want it in a way where it feels good posture yourself for it position yourself for what you want you know i don't want you to have a thriving business and have a relationship with your significant other that is li the living hell i don't want you to have a good marriage and then you have a bad relationship with your child your child isn't performing i want you to have it all because when you align with god's kingdom when you when you are in when you are of god i'm not saying that trouble will not come that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that illness will not come, but you deal with it differently. You deal with it differently. You have a different kind of peace in the storm. I'm telling you that. When I face, when I've lost family members in this season or when I've lost, lost family member in the old, old season of my life, it feels different this time around. It feels different this time around. I handle it this, different this time around. I process it different this time around. So I'm saying whatever it is that you want, position yourself correctly for it. And you can have it. You can have it. I mean, you know, there's nothing lacking, nothing broken. So if I want you to listen to this, I want you to take me up on this. And go and read the Psalm, Psalm 37 verse 4, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. You've heard me say it so many times, I'm going to say it till I'm blue in the face, I'll say it forever as well. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all will be added. Because I don't want you to just be happy. Happiness is temporary. When you have money, yes, you can buy the nice things that you want and you get that fixer happy. I want you to to have joy have peace have salvation have contentment it's different it hits different things come to you different you build your business different you build your relationship different your friendships are built different so I hope you do enjoy this video. If you've come this far, please like this video and let me know in the, the comments before if you're ready to position yourself for the things that you truly desire. Tell me, I'm positioning for what I desire. I love you so much and also I'll be posting in the description a link towards um, a link where you can give something towards this ministry as I say the ministry is new we want to reach people afar we want to take trains and planes we want to do we have plans to do so much in this ministry and any form of donation if it's even a dollar a pound a pence it matters to us here please donate from your heart if you can and I'll speak to you next um, next week or very soon.